This is going to be a really informal chatty get ready with me. I'm hopefully going to link all the products below and this is the look that we're going to be creating. Hi everyone, I want to do a real casual chatty get ready with me and this is the first thing I usually do is just put this wet and wild stick wherever I want to cover up some things and I feel much more presentable to have some of my spots covered up. This is beautiful and moist. And I'm probably not going to talk about all the products. I will put them below. This is the Nude for Thought. I also do the Bisque one. Both of these I really, really like. So how are you guys doing? <laughs> We're doing well. We are still recovering from coronavirus, if you can believe that. Um, I would say most days we feel really good. We're not 100%. I don't think we're going to be doing our trail runs probably until September, maybe. It depends on you know how our lungs do in that. But right now, they would find me halfway down the trail. There's no way I could do those trail runs. I couldn't even walk it. So that's fine. We're going to just enjoy being calm and relaxed and enjoying our time up here. We still are going down during the week for Mark's work. Um, he's better than I was. I think it was with my lower immune system, my autoimmune issues. I had a tougher time with the virus, definitely. But that being said, I recovered very well. And I'm going to tell you about one thing that I stumbled onto, and I'm so grateful. The virus is pretty typical that around the three, four week mark of healing, you are going to have some extreme chest tightness. And boy, did I have chest tightness. I felt like an elephant was sitting on my chest. It was so heavy. I couldn't breathe. If I walked from one room to another, I was absolutely exhausted. I was going to go to the doctor, and then when I phoned the doctor, they're like, this is very normal. You may need to get into the ER. You could be getting pneumonia. And I wasn't sure what all was going on. Now, I'm not saying what you should do. I have a blog of what worked for us. But we did a lot of things right and we learned a lot of things late. I wish I'd known them earlier because it certainly would have made things a whole lot easier for me. But that being said, we did make it through and I'm grateful for that. And I'm also grateful for learning. I think sometimes. I'm the kind of person that has to learn things the hard way, and then hopefully I will remember what I've learned. But the chest tightness, I was wanting to get um, hydroxychlorine, and I've heard that, along with the zinc, had amazing results. Well, we were up here, my doctor's down in the valley, so I decided to research things, and I came up with betaine, which is HCL, like I said, do your own research. I took one at lunch, and it probably relieved some of the pressure on my chest by maybe 20%, and then I took another one at dinner, and it was 100%. I could not believe how much better everything was. Hang on, I gotta think. Okay, I had to figure out what I was gonna do next. I can't walk and chew gum. So the betaine helped immensely. The next morning, I probably had about 50% of the pressure back on my chest. So again, I took a betaine at lunch and a betaine at dinner. Boom, fine. Canceled my doctor's appointment. Mark was really worried about me. He was gonna take me into the ER and you know, I'm like, I don't wanna go to the ER. By the way, I'm using the Emily uh, Edits palette. This is really fun for me for color. I don't do a lot of color, but when I want color, this is the palette that I use because all of my other palettes are pretty neutral. And I'm happy that I have this to turn to. So I decided today I'm gonna do kind of a reddish and then a brown look. I was gonna go really crazy, but I'm not that bold with love ton. So let's start with cheers and we'll see. And my mirror is kind of far away, so hopefully this all works okay. But I was so happy and impressed that that betaine worked for me. And along with zinc, you have to do it with the zinc. So we are continuing to heal. We are doing better every single day. And we learned a lot of 
ways that, heaven forbid we get it again, that it would help get us through it smoother. But we are just grateful that we've gotten through it. Um, we still have fatigue, um, still not able to do everything. You know, like I said, the, um, this is dark early, the dark brown. Everything that we would have done in the beginning before we were sick, no. And we kind of have to pace ourselves. But that being said, we're getting better. That's what's the main thing. Um, I also had a lot of people when I did my video telling you about this, which I think was my June favorites, and I put the scriptures in there saying, don't fear. So many of you appreciated that, and you have a lot of fear, which I can understand. If you watch the news, you'd be crazy not to have fear. But I want to encourage you to look at the number of deaths you have in your state and look at your population. Divide the number of deaths by the population. And for Arizona right now, we're around 0 .0004 is the death rate. And when I said that I was glad that we got this, it was because I felt we would survive it. And I don't know if it gives us immunity. I hope we'll see. But I didn't want to live in fear, and we've had it now. And when you see your state's percent, I hope that it reassures you so that you aren't worried. Because it's. I think fear is a very negative emotion to live with and it just robs you of your peace and probably even lowers your immunity. So I wanted to tell you a funny story. When the beginning of this year happened and we were just finishing our renovations here, I started to want to be up here more. And I started praying, not in a hugely intentional way, it was more like the book of Jabez where I was focused on asking for God's blessings and just trying to see, my pencil just broke. Hold please. Rather than running upstairs for my pencil sharpener, I'm gonna use my NYX liner. So I started praying for the book of Jabez, how it says about blessing us. And I did say that I wanted to understand if there was a way that I could possibly be up here more. And let's see, I think we had the quarantine right as we were finishing our renovations on this place. Then we had, oh, what was it? I think it was the protest riots, whatever you want to call them. Most of ours were not peaceful, so I considered those riots. And then, oopsie. Um, we had the fires, we had the coronavirus. Mark told me, knock off the prayers, <laughs> because he's like, I don't know what else is gonna happen in the world that we're gonna end up with things happening here that oh, we do not want. But I'm like, we've been able to be up here like three, four months so far this year. It, not all at once, but still, it's been an incredible opportunity that we will probably never have again. So I just finished doing my mascara and my lashes, and I think I'm going to, uh, you could just use the Emily Edits palette, but I'm going to incorporate my Lorac, this dark sable, and a little bit of espresso just to deepen up the outer area and then my lash line as well to give it a little more depth. My brows are always hit or miss. I always use the e.l.f. This is in blonde which is kind of light for me as you're going to see. I should have probably put down some concealer here to help it stick. The taupe is a little darker and it goes a little easier. Now I have started filling in on the underside. I know they tell you to always do it up top so it lifts your face, but when you think about it, you pluck underneath here. So I end up with my arches looking to Joan Crawford um, with my brows and my arch and everything if I don't fill in this area right here. So that's what I've started doing and I think I like how that looks. Now if I don't have time, that would be it, but I'll show you something that I'm going to do in a minute. So once I have my brows, 
done with the e.l.f. pencil and looking like they might know each other, I'd actually take this pencil from Essence in Strawberry Blonde and just put in a few little strokes here and there and to me it helps fill it in. Now, the other thing you can do is take a brow powder and do that as well. It's just something to have a couple of little strokes of contrast versus being all filled in with the same thing. So like I said, I just try to get them so they're at least, they're not related, but they're on speaking terms. And I'm really worried about doing my Farting L'Oreal blush because I normally do it over the sink. I have to be really careful that it doesn't end up farting on my couch. This thing is awful, but hopefully I can get it to work here. So have any of you been enjoying grocery pickup? I don't think when things go back to normal that I'm ever going to want to pick up or go into the store again. I mean, yeah, it's kind of nice to browse, but it sure is convenient to just drive up, open your trunk, thank you, have a nice day, and off you go. I just keep on adding to it either on my phone or my computer throughout the week, and when you go to do your pickup, it is just so handy. Okay, I can't believe this. My lip pencil is right at the end. <laughs> I am so not doing well with this get ready with me. This is an essence pencil. I have no idea what color it is. I think it might be touch of spice. And you can see I do the Wayne Goss method where I fill in more on the cupid's bow and then go down and match my lip line more on the outer edge. So out here, make sure you don't overdraw too much. And then you can do that more in the middle area. And I feel like that makes it come together a bit more. You can always overdraw in the middle. But I don't, I try not to do too much on the outside of it. And while that dries, I'm going to do a bit more on the under eye and the powder. One thing I've always had that I used to do that I try not to do is I would blend in the powder too much because you can see it's really shiny right now and I would tend to push it in and that would take away so much of the coverage. Well, I don't want to do that. So now I leave it like this, but then I take my powder and you can just very, very lightly go on to the areas that you need and I still have my coverage and it's helped to meld it together. If you want, you can do it more with the sponge, but I just don't like lifting off that coverage after I put it on there intentionally. And then the next thing I will do is my highlighter. I love this Wet n Wild. It's in Golden Flower Crown and look out, it is potent. You don't need a lot, but it really pulls up the blush, and I'm going to add more blush in a minute, but I find that it really blends in really nicely with the blush. And I'm also going to do around my eyes. So this is the only place I can find to film my outfit in the house. This is just a really super casual dress. I don't know if you've noticed, I kept my COVID weight off after, well, my quarantine weight after having COVID. I lost probably 15, 20 pounds. So I'm happy to be back to my previous svelte weight and hopefully I can maintain it now that I'm doing keto. But it's just a simple outfit and I have on these yoga mat flip-flops. I love these shoes. They're really cushy, comfy, I can have a heck of a time getting back into heels when I have to go back into the office. Thank you so much for spending some of your time with me. I really appreciate it. Maybe you picked up a tip or two or just some chit chatty things. Let me know if you're gonna do grocery pickup from here on out. I am absolutely addicted to it. And I hope you're doing well and having an amazing day. We'll talk to you next time.